A blessed Wednesday morning po. Kung kayo po ay excited po or kayo po ay napagpala sa panalangin, uh, i-share po natin itong post po natin. Uh, let us share this post po so that we could reach more people sa gawain po ng ating po Panginoon. Bag- uh, tayo po ipatuloy po na nag-aaral po tungkol sa ating pong, uh, topic about giving. And isa po sa mga dapat nating bigyan ng tuon ay yung ating pong pag-ikapu, no? uh, ang ating pong tithing. So, Bago po tayo magpaturi sa ating devotion, tayo muna po ay manalangin sa oras po ito. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the privilege of knowing you. And we thank you, Lord, because we are called not just to become intercessors, but to become ambassadors, representatives of, of each and our family. Lord, we pray that we will not just learn to uh, continue to give, Lord, but we will continue, Lord God, to be an example of your goodness and an example of what Christ has done sa buhay po namin. Because you are the best example of giving, Lord. That is why we will also give and we will also give our best para po sa inyo. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. So napakahalaga po ng ating pong pagbibigay sa ating pong Panginoon. I think it's very important na uh, Alam po ninyo, hindi po dapat natin ito ipagkakaila. So sabi po sa Bible, bring your tithe to the Lord. No? Now, many people po right now, uh, by the way, ang reference po natin no, sa oras po ito, if you have your Bibles with you, makibukas po tayo dito po sa talata po. Uh, mahirap po sa, dito sa online. Pero if you have your Bibles with you, okay, so, Open up our Bibles po. Yan, dito po. Uh, it is uh, in Matthew 6, verse 21. So meron po ba yung uh, Bible? If you have your Bibles, your tablets with you, open up your uh, Bibles or tablets or cell phones to Matthew 6, verse 21. Ito po sa NIV. Ito po ang sinasabi. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, magandang principle po ng salita po ng Diyos na nire-remind sa atin kung saan po ang pinakamahalaga sa atin nandun yung ating po puso. At uh, marami po ang nagtatanong. No? Uh, actually, hindi po masyado na mention po yung tithing sa pulpit. Kasi po, hindi naman po dahil takot po ang mga pastor. Pero uh, sometimes we get, uh, anong tawag na, misinterpreted. Okay, that Ay, kaya nagpupit si pastor, ganito, ganyan, about tithing, gusto lang niyang ano, <laughs> uh, magkaroon. <laughs> Misang ganun ng perspective, pero hindi po mga kapatid. Uh, your tithes, no, especially in our church, are being used not just, uh, hindi po primarily for the pastors, but it is also for the whole needs of the church. No, Marami po tayong mga kapatid na naglilingkod. Hindi lamang po sa aspeto po ng paglilingkod, kundi sa ating pong vision. We are... building a uh, vision lot dito po sa Mexico. So, we, ang ating pong binibigay, it is not just uh, for the for a certain group of people. It is for the benefit of the church and for the glory of our Lord. Now, sa tithing po, bakit po kailangan natin mag po? Why do we need to give our tithes? And some people question tithing. Sinasabi po nila, na ang tithing daw po ay outdated na. No? At ito po, po, ito daw po ay under the law pa. No? At hindi na po kailangan mag-tithing. Uh, many people do not believe in tithing anymore kasi sinasabi nila, nasa grace na po tayo. Now actually, uh, even before the law, meron na pong tithing. Okay? If you have your Bibles with you, open po tayo uh, dito po sa Genesis. Okay? Genesis po, chapter 14, verses 18 to 19. Okay. Uh, nandiyan na po ba yung law? Wala pa po. Genesis chapter 14, verses 18 to 19. 
Ito po sinasabi. 14. Uh, one four po yan. Genesis 14. Yeah. So ito po sinasabi ng Genesis chapter 14. When Abram heard that his kinsman had been captured, he led forth his trained men, born, okay, uh, in his house, 318 of them, ito yung context nun, and went in pursuit as far as Dan. Okay? Verse 18, And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. Meron pong, parti, uh, meron pong comment doon. And he was a priest of God Most High. Verse 19, And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram by God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. And let's go to verse 20. Anong sabi doon? And blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. And Abram gave him a tenth of everything. Now, nandyan na po ba yung law? Wala pa po. Abram was a thousand years before the law of Moses. And Abram, in Abram, in verse 20, he gave the tenth of all. So, ang tithing po exceeds beyond the law of Moses. So, ito po ay mas uh, nauna pa sa law of Moses. And Abraham knew. Meron na po bang sinabi doon no? na kinuman ng Diyos pa no? no. Abraham, innately, he gave his tithe to the Lord. Pero pansinin po ninyo. In verse 19, si Melchizedek, pinagpala po niya si Abraham. Anong sabi niya? And he blessed Abraham and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. So dito po, may makikita po tayong principle of tithing. First, we tithe because God has blessed us already. Si Abram po, makikita po ninyo, in verse 20 po, nag-tithe siya, di ba? But in verse 19, nandun na po yung blessing ng Panginoon sa buhay niya. Some people misinterpret na kapag sila po yung nagtatite, ba-bless sila ng Panginoon. Now, now, if you go back in the original context, bago pa mag si Abraham, nandun po ang blessing ng Panginoon. God's blessing is there. God's uh, promotion is there. So God is telling you today, mga kapatid ko, we tithe as, as a response to God's blessing sa ating pong buhay. Hindi po tayo nagtatithe, no? That's a wrong motivation. If you give your tithe para lamang po makatanggap ng blessing, that's a wrong uh, interpretation of the passage. Abram was blessed and so he gave his tithe. Proverbs 3, 9 to 10 tells us, Honor the Lord by giving Him the first part of your income. And He will fill your barns with wheat and barley and overflow your wine vats with the finest of wines. So napakahalaga po na bigyan po natin ng paggalang ang ating po Panginoon. Number one, we tithe because God has blessed us. Number two, we tithe because we want to honor God. Sometimes po, we think na ang pag-offering o tithes, hindi siya worship. But you know, offering and tithe is also worship to the Lord. Ito po ay pagbibigay natin ng galang sa Panginoon. The purpose of tithing is to, is, is to teach us to put God first in our lives. When we give our tithe, it means, Lord, 
uh, hindi ko man alam ang mangyayari kinabukasan but Lord, I'm willing to trust in you you're willing you're willing to worship him no number one tandaan po natin the tithe uh, is not because we want to receive but because we have already received God's blessing number two tithing is about honoring God we honor God by our tithes at dito po makikita natin tithing okay shows you the condition of your heart kapag tayo po ay nagtithe no hindi lamang po ang it's not about the price that we give it's about the condition of our heart tayo ba ay nagtitiwala sa kanya at sa kanyang kagustuhan sa ating buhay si Abraham po he set aside the tenth Tithing should not be an impulsive thing. We need to set aside what is for the Lord because it is for the Lord. Kung tayo po'y worker ng Panginoon at hindi pa tayo nagtatithe, now there's something wrong with us. We don't believe in the principle. You know, the law teaches us uh, to tithe, but in reality, tithing is uh, it exceeds the law. May principle po ito at may pangako po ito ng Panginoon sa ating pong buhay. So I want to challenge you, my dear intercessors, and if you're a worker, a leader in the church, even if you're a primary leader, o naman po position po natin, sinasabi po sa Malachi 3 verse 10, bring to the storehouse a full tenth of what you earn. Test me in this, says the Lord All-Powerful. I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour out all the blessings you need. And what is the storehouse right now? It is the temple. It is the church where you worship God. When you give your tithes, you give it to the Lord. Hindi po ito para sa tao, kundi ito po para sa Panginoon. And God will honor that. Tithing is uh, an attitude of our heart. It is more than receiving the blessings, mga kapatid. It, is, it shows our attitude. It shows our character. And it shows how we believe ang ating po Panginoon sa ating po buhay. So let me challenge you today, this morning. Give your tithe to the Lord. Uh, yes, kahit po sa panahon ng paghihirap, mga pagsubok, maging faithful po tayo and see how God will provide. I want to balance it, no? Hindi ko sinasabi po na walang blessing pag tayo po nabigay. There is blessing also. Ako po naniniwala po ako sa principle na yon. Testimony ko na lang po at dito po magtatapos. Nung ako po isudyante pa lamang, siyempre wala po trabaho, ako po binibigyan ng allowance ng aking po tatay. Uh, ang allowance ko po ay, at that time, is 500 pesos a week. So, sabi ng tatay ko, anak, give your tithe. So, 500, ang mababawas sa akin, 50 pesos. Eh, yung ulam po noon, medyo mataas na, 45 pesos. Eh, kung ikakakrate nyo, one week hanggang Sabado, kulang po. So, isang araw pa lamang, umaga, tanghali, gabi, wala pa yung merienda, Mga 200 pesos na magagastos ko, eh, malakas po ko kumain nun. So, nagsasaragal po ako, sabi ko, bibigay ko ba yung 50 pesos? Eh, one rice, eh, two rice na to eh, no? Pero alam po ninyo, God challenged me to give my tithe. And I'm giving 50, pres- 50 pesos, 10%. Nakapansin ko po, nung ako po ay uh, nagkukulang, at hindi ko po binibigay yung tithe ko, mas lalo po mabilis maupos, Monday pa lang, Tuesday pa lang, ubos na yung pera. Pero alam po ninyo, when I was giving my tithe, kahit po Friday pa, may natitira pang pera. Wala pong nalulugi sa pagbibigay ng kanya ng tithe. See how God will move sa ating pong buhay. So I want to challenge you, my dear brothers and sisters, be faithful in our offering, in our tithe sa ating pong Panginoon. It shows the attitude of our heart. You honor God by giving. Tayo po yung sandalin mo ko at manalangin. Let us pray. Salamat, Panginoon. 
We thank you for the reminder that we are called not just to become Christians in our communities, but we are called to be faithful in our tithe. Lord, this principle exceeds the Mosaic law. That even Abram, the father of many nations, gave his tithe to Melchizedek, the God, the king, and the priest. Lord, committed po Panginoon, help us to be faithful, to give our tithe. Hindi lamang po sa panahon na maraming blessing, kundi sa mga panahon na tama-tama lang ang provision po ninyo. Because Lord, you are more than enough. And we believe that nothing is impossible with you. Help us to be faithful, Lord. And help us to give for your glory alone. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. At amen. Uh, shout out po. No? We have around 413 viewers right now. Uh, God bless you po. At nawa, ating pong ibahagi ang principle pong ito sa ating pong mga, mga pamilya. At nawa, mapagpala po ang ating pong Wednesday morning. God bless you all. A blessed Wednesday morning po. Kita-kits po tayo, mga nanays. Good morning po. God bless you all. Mga kapatid po online, God bless you all. Hindi ko man po kayo mention but we will see you po in due time. Have a blessed Wednesday. Mamaya po, meron tayong midweek service. God bless you all.